Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Craft Designs. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here today with, it's more of a craft with me today than a tutorial. I'm just opening a sweet. <laughs> uh, I would just want to get some of these bits and bobs used up because I'm saving far too many of them. Um, I've got these two tubs here. This one's filled with cream die cut and punched items and just bits and bobs. Yeah, this one's filled with craft ones and I pulled this out, a little die cut tag shape. I've popped a little picture in and just popped a word on and some string in and there we are. A cute little embellishment. Uh, that'll be ideal for tucking in a journal in one of those smaller spaces that we always end up with and need bits for. And I don't really have a lot of small bits ready made. I tend to make the bigger ones or medium sized ones. So I'm going to crack on and make some little ones today and you can join me to make them. So I've sorted through my box and got a few more of those tags because I like them. Uh, I pre-inked some of them as well. Uh, I've got a banner, that's, I don't know what that add-on, some kind of splatter. And I've inked it, tags that are already inked. Uh, that's cute. I think there's a few more of those hiding that I might dig out. Yeah, could do. I'm going to put the brown ones out at way because I've decided I'm not doing craft. I'm going to do cream. Yeah. Uh, I've got my Tim Holtz tiny words, what are they called, small talk. I've got a little box of digital ephemera. That's where I got my little rose from for that one. And I've got my trusty collage box with my smaller pieces. So I'm just going to play and see what I come up with. So I'll put that one there because I might want to use it. Oh, I've also got my little box of fabric bits and bobs. Which I grabbed that out and that out when I was looking for something to put in the top of that first tag. So, let's see what we're going to make. But you go there, you go there. I've no room to craft now, I've got that much stuff out. I'm going to grab my ink. I've got my walnut stain. These look like they've already been pre-inked in, uh, yeah, vintage photo. And I'm liking things a bit darker than that at the minute. So, I'm going to give them another little bit of an ink with some walnut stain, just a touch. And I want to go around that as well. Don't look like I've done that when I did it before. So in the process of making that first one, I thought to myself, I don't need to sandwich it and glue that up totally. I could just put the image there, couldn't I? And make this a tag that opens that you could write something in underneath. As well as on the back so we'll give that a whirl see if it works I don't know it might it might not we shall see won't we so that's that one inked uh, I'll make a little set of three of these yeah this is like the double inking that shell does isn't it but I've already done the first bit I've already inked a little bit around with the vintage photo hmm. I'm not gonna ink this no if I see, if you see that, no, I'm going to just fasten them up completely. Scratch that other idea. Yeah. I think it'll be too thick. It'll be too thick. If I go putting another full piece of card all the way up there rather than just a piece of paper and window, won't it? Yeah, it will. I say so, so it's that's right, isn't it? Of course it is. Right, move those out your way. Just work with what you've got for now, woman. I do this all the time. This is why my craft room ends up in a complete mess because I get far too much stuff out. I've got some glue there. I bought a new grey mat. That's why I started tidying up to get this new grey mat on the desk instead of using wallpaper. Because I don't like the green. I find it really hard to get the light right when I'm using green. Right, I'm looking for something to put in here. And I think... I think I like that. I think I do. We'll see a little bit of the leaf. We'll see the rose. Yeah, I'm just going to cut around that now. I'm going to go just inside. I, I, don't ask me what brand some of these dyes are because I have not got a clue. Some are from Alice, some are brands. I've had a lot of them a lot of years. And I just grab small dies and use them at random. 
but a lot of dies if you just make an odd one or two you can you could recreate this really easily yeah just cut a rectangle fold it in half use any circle die to cut that out and a punch there yeah that would be really easy to recreate oh i like that so i'm going to glue it in i'm going to hold that where it is <laughs> flip that up are we still in shot i don't know because you're right under the bit where the camera gets held we're just in shot now i've moved that you silly woman you've moved it what you done that for i still like it it's still okay there so i'm gonna put some glue around the little aperture I mean, you could do this like the ones I did last week. My glue didn't want to come out because, guess what? What my pin in it? What the heck? Have I got round to making some glue dang bottle dangles? Not yet. I did, however, find the stainless steel pins. If you missed that video, I have put them in my Amazon storefront. And they're tested now. They're definitely stainless steel. I've been using them three or four weeks and they haven't gone rusty. Right, so just a circle around there, and then I'm going to put glue around there. <laughs> the idea is it's, it'll get the card around the edge. Yeah, that will get that. Job will be a good one. Bob will be your uncle, and Fanny will be your aunt. There we go. I quite like that. And same with as with this one. I'm going to put some string through. I did have another piece of that string because that were a piece I cut in half. Do I still have that string? <laughs> Doubtful. I'm thinking that string's probably on the floor by now. So let's get in my scrap box. If you've never seen this box before, you're going to love it or you're going to hate it. Yeah. Some people call it a wonderful box of treasures and some people call it a right old mess. So here we go. Da da. <laughs> so what do you think? Is it a wonderful box of treasures? Is it a right old mess? It's just all scraps that I throw in. Right, that's just some boring string. Uh, oh, I'd like saving. Look at that. I've saved that, but that, wouldn't that just be so perfect? Get that bit of fluff off in the top of that tag with some string tied round. I think it could be. That's another piece. We could put a bit of that under word. We could. I got this out because this has got like a plasticky backing, so it's brilliant for putting under words. So that'll do me for this first delve into the box. I think I'm going to go with string though. <laughs> Having just got all that out. I'm going to put what I called a boring piece of string through top. What am I like? Oh, do I have that roll of string with the gold thread? But that's not keeping true to the using up scraps, is it? If I go getting rolls of string out and cutting new bits off, that's making new scraps. And the idea today is to use my existing scraps. It doesn't matter that string's different, but a variety in your life. Spot on. Excuse me. I think I want the black one again. Yeah, just pause to cough there. You really don't want to hear that, do you? No, of course you don't. Right, what shall we have here? I don't take forever picking these, she says. <laughs> Be authentic. I like that one. Yeah, and I'm not going to put anything under this one because then it won't match the first one, will it? I'm going to bit. That's a bit wonky, isn't it? I kiss on. That is wonky. That's better. And let's make a third one of those. So we've got a little matching set. I did put some darker ink on that, didn't I? So, let's find another. It looks like I'm making roses here, doesn't it? How about this? That's not a rose. That's a rose. Oh. No, we're going to cut off some of the word vintage if we see the rose, so that one's not going to work. What else we got? So that's not good. No, 
We don't want ladies because we're doing roses. We could put ladies on something else. Mm, don't think we'd see enough of that one, or would we? Oh, yeah. I think I could live with some at rose being cut off. I'll keep that one in reserve. I'm going to look for a better one first. If I don't find one, I'll come back to that. Oh, what about that? I'm still going to get a little bit of that vintage word, which I'll find very annoying. Mm, no, don't like that. That's an embellishment in itself anyway, isn't it? Oh, if I don't find another rose, well, I, I will find one. That one's going to be my reserve, isn't it? What's that? Oh, that's a big piece. Anything else? No, it's going to be that one. Oh, the birds look good for summer. Don't they just? Yeah, we're going to go with that one. So let's see where we need to cut this off to make this fit. I think I want that part of it. I want to try and fit all three in and I'm not going to, am I? <laughs> it's just not going to happen, is it? Not perfectly, but I think that'll do. Something like that. Just straighten it up, woman. Straighten it up, cut it off, stop faffing. This is supposed to be quick, getting rid of some of your scraps. Right, I'm going to cut it there. We've got a bit more leeway at bottom. Yeah, that looks good. I think I'm going to have to trim this edge down. I'll have to trim both edges down, actually, so the glue will stick the two sides of the tag together. And I've got to trim that off so it doesn't cover the hole up. Let's see if that's going to do it. Yeah, I'm happy with that as it is. So hold it where it is again. I'm just going to hutch it that way a smidgen just to make it a little bit more even. Then I'll glue around here. Move your other stuff out of the way so you don't get it covered in glue. Because you're full of tricks like that. There we go. I'll put a little bit there. I'm going to put it on here this time know why <laughs> put it on other it's easy on other side there we go and that's it another little tag so we've got a set of three little tags they look really cute in three pockets all on the same page I'm thinking I think they would and you just know I'm gonna make another rose journal don't you Roses and butterflies. That's that. And I think I'll just put a different bit of string on. So if they do end up on the same page together, they'll all have different string on, which will make them look cute. So we use that string. We've got the string with the gold thread. I want some pretty thick. That will do. Yeah. Pop that on. That's going to be a bit long. Do it like that. And then I shall be happy with those. So that's three little tags in just a, well, if you take waffling off in less than 10 minutes. <laughs> but as we know, we love the waffling. You all agree that you love the waffling. I don't think I could make videos without waffling, so the waffling is here to stay. Right, we need a little word for it. So we've got Be Authentic, which doesn't seem to want to stick too well since I peeled it off. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue under that end. If you don't maul these too much, they do stick quite well. If you maul them a little bit, they don't stick so well. Mauling them. <laughs> Makes myself sound like a lion or a tiger, don't I? Right, be awesome today. I think I want that. Because I am awesome today. <laughs> I'm awesome every day, I am. Oh dear. <clears throat> there we go. I just think they're just cute. They're so simple. But sometimes simple is all you need, isn't it? Right, so let's pop them up there out of the way. And let's grab the box. See what we're going to do now. I don't know if I want to play with banners. I've got some of those little specimen slides. I've got some random shaped tags. I did get a couple out and then put them back in the box. 
that's that one. Yeah, that that's already got a little Velcro dot on. And something inside. We've got some top note labels. We could make those into little book plates. I could layer them up actually. Because we've got different colours. Oh, we've got an envelope there. Another envelope. A tag. I love these cute little bobbins. They are just cute. Ooh, what's this? I want to do something with that. <clears throat> that requires some big words. And I'm using my little Timmy words today, so I will not do that. I'll just be happy if I get half a dozen or so things done out of this box that can then be used in a journal. Because the kids go back to school tomorrow. I'm going to resist cheering. Yeah, kids are back at school tomorrow. And yeah, I'll be back in my routine of my working day. Get up, get kids to school, get in craft room. Yeah, <clears throat> rather than, yeah. Well, it's just not been like that, shall we say. Right, what next? I do love that. I think I want to collage on a couple of these. I know they're different, but they're similar, aren't they? So we've got two similar square tags. Should we get a third? We're working in threes, it would appear. Threes or fives. I don't think I'm going to find five of them. Oh, I've got a third. Yes, yeah, so that's three. One's slightly different, but it doesn't matter. No one's judging. I'm not. And I think collage on that one. So I'll just make a temporary shelf on one of my pull-out drawers for them. Scoop all that off to one side. <laughs> Scoop. <coughs> That's me tidying up. My mum won't kids tidy like that. And I'm going to get some random bits of book page. And I don't want that colour brown. Oh, I like that darker tea dyed stuff. And that and that. So, yeah, so they're just going to be quite uh, plain. Pattern paper. Yeah, let's get sticking down. A bit more, a bit more. I tend to like to put three different sorts of paper on something when I'm collaging. I don't know why, I just do. It's just how I do it. Right, that's one for that. Bring your tag back, woman. Don't lose your tag. Um, yeah. One on each of those, bit of green. I'm thinking. Um, I've got I've got some slightly dark painters paper now. I think I might go for the darker one. Oh, that, that tore a bit weird, didn't it? Ooh, that's paper for you. So I want that more level though. That's another piece. That's better. Be a bit more precise sometimes in your ripping woman instead of going all random. That's that. That's a nice bit of book page and perhaps a bit of music. That's a very weird shape piece, that, isn't it? I don't know if I'm going to be able to do anything with that, to be honest. That's when I've gone, yeah, rip-roaring crazy. Let's, oh, that's very, that's better. New sheet, let's have a new sheet. Ooh, this is much older. It does tend to tear much better for the older stuff. Is that is that because of the age? I'm not sure. Is that because the fibres in the paper are naturally breaking down because of age? Probably. Well, if you know different, tell me. I would love to know. That's my guess anyway. You know, that's... <laughs> uh, I won't go stating it as fact when I've guessed it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna ink these. No, I'm not. I'm just gonna glue them on. So, get the glue stick out which I've been good and kept it in my drawer so it don't get too hot and I think hottest day we've had has been about well I don't think it's gone above 20 for a while now 
Well, that's Celsius, that, not Fahrenheit. We're not freezing. We're not turning into icicles. But yeah, a bit different. The Oh, I'd finished a Sudoku, look. Finished another one. Yeah, proud of that one. Yeah, it all went well. Now I'm going to use it as a glue book. Yeah, I did that quite quick, actually. My brain must have been on form. I don't know how that happened. Oh, I'm getting my head on camera again. All right, so bit of music paper. I don't think I want a piece of that so big. I wish I'd put that down first before music paper, but... That would have required forethought and planning. I say that often. Forethought and planning is not my strong suit sometimes. Especially not when I'm rabbiting. Yeah, I mentioned kids back to school tomorrow. Whoa. It was like, whoa, kids are going back to school. I've been looking forward to this day. And then I found out today that they're going back tomorrow for two hours. Two hours. Yeah. I'm going to take it. Two hours is better than no hours, isn't it? So, you know, I've been wondering what I'm going to do on that first day kids are back at school. Am I going to craft all day? Am I just going to do nothing? I've decided because they're only there for two hours, I'm going to do nothing. I'm going to chill and I'm going to put something on the TV that I want to watch for a change. I can't remember when I last watched something I wanted to watch on a big screen. I end up watching what I want to watch while I'm crafting on my tablet or my phone. So yeah, I'm going to watch something on a big screen, don't know what. So as soon as they leave that house, I'm sitting down, cup of tea in hand. And I'm putting a film on. Ooh, I know what film I might watch. I was talking to someone the other day about this. The Quiet Man, John Wayne. Absolutely love that film. Yeah, I could watch YouTube, but no, I need to watch a film. I like that. I'm going to put that on. Yeah, I'm not going to, I'm going to stop overthinking this collage. So when we get the focal point on, it just... Detracts from what the back looks like anyway, doesn't it? I think I just want a smaller piece of this um, tea dyed now. And I think I'm going to put that on there. I like there how it's not coloured very much. I may have to pause in a minute to adjust the lighting again because it's gone every time I put my video on it goes dark outside. Like I said, we've not had the heat wave, it's all, um, I've put that wrong place. I wanted it there. There we go. It's all dark and dull. Right, yeah, I'm just going to adjust my light and I'll be back in the tick. Sorted. I do hope that's better and not worse. It's definitely better for me. I was struggling to see what I was doing. So now I can actually see what I'm doing. Right, let's... Yeah, I'm just, I'm not comfy with how my desk set up today. That's why I'm fidgeting with all my craft stuff, moving it about. It's like, hmm, it don't feel natural. I've got too many boxes out. That looks good there. I think I might put a bigger piece of this on. Yeah, I'm going to pop that there. I could put the book, and I'll tell you what, I'm going to put book page along top and that there. Yeah, and then book page along top. That'll look cute. I think there's too much sticky on that page now. Running out of places to glue. And I'll crack out the birds or the butterflies for this. Yeah, they've been up to school, kids, today to have their, um, yeah, COVID tests. Which I think it's good that school are testing everyone before they go back. I don't know what they're going to do about it. It's, yeah, it's getting to a point now, isn't it? Where, yeah, it's here, isn't it? It's not going anywhere. Anyway, enough of that. We've come to craft. We don't want the weight of the world on our shoulders while we're crafting. We can craft all day. Right. 
Yes, anyway, I walked up with them. They've both got slightly different times. So I walked up with them. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool that having your mum walk up. No, I didn't go in school. We dropped Rachel off. Then me and Bex had a walk up to the post office. Uh, did the business we needed to do. And then... Uh, yeah, Rachel went home after her test and then Becky had hers. And then we went and did a bit of shopping. So we did get out and about a little bit today. Uh, I'm waiting for a, a message or a call from a woman about a hamster. We have no hamsters in our life and we need hamsters in our lives. So I went on, there's a website in the UK called is it Homes for Pets where private sellers can sell. I've never bought an animal uh, that I've not seen before buying it, but I found a lady who seems lovely. She's only about 10 miles away and she will deliver us. Well, I asked for one hamster. I'm thinking I might want two hamsters now. <laughs> Rachel is asleep and I think when Rachel wakes up, Rachel's going to want a hamster as well. So we've got all the gummins, we've got the huge cages because we've had hamsters before. It's just our hamsters both sadly passed away during this lockdown period. And I've really not wanted to go to a busy shopping centre. I just don't want to go to one, so I'm not going to one. Kids don't like shopping anyway, so it's no skin off their nose. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, we've been a bit picky then with my butterflies, weren't I? So I'm going to ink these up, stick them on. So yes, I'm waiting to hear back from this lady. Got a couple of little dwarf hamsters. Apparently she does. She shows her hamsters, and she just breeds a couple of. I don't know they call litters. I don't, I'm not even sure. I've read the advert, and I still don't know if it's called a litter. So yeah, waiting to hear back from her. So we will have cute little hamsters again, hopefully. Rachel wants some budgerigars, budges. But I don't think I'd want to buy budges if I'd not seen how and where they live first. That's a little bit different to a hamster, I think. Right, I'm liking that. That's just cute. So easy, so cute. Let's find a word. I think I want to back these words on the hessian. And I may use the white words. Yeah, I'm going to cut some pieces of that as long as the words. I'm not going to stick my butterflies down yet because I'm not sure which words I'm going to use and how much room they're going to take up. Right. I thought I heard stairs creaking behind me. It's either a child or a ghost. I'm not sure which. But no one's speaking. Right, let's use the white words on these ones. What have we got? Put lid on your glue stick, woman, or you're going to have an awful sticky mess. Got enough mess on your desk as it is without that happening, aren't you? There we go. All right, what we're going to put. We could make a little trio of butterflies with a phrase, but then if we put them in the wrong order, it's not going to make sense, is it? It's, it's going to be like something I'd come out with. I feel so lucky. No, be you bravely. I do like that. Make today count, be awesome today. Did I not put be awesome? I'm looking on the same page, aren't I, in the um, yeah white ones. We can't have be awesome today because we've already been awesome today. There's only so much awesome you can fit in a day. Use your wings. Could that be any better? Of course we'll use our wings. We are butterflies. So peel off then, peel off. So I'm going to ink this up and then I'll stick this to the hessian and then I'll cut around the hessian and then I'll stick that on the tag. I might add some little charms as well. Oh, I saw a gorgeous project again that Zoe at Paper Eve Creations had done over on Instagram. That woman needs to get on YouTube, I'm telling you. She really does. <laughs> uh, if you saw the little folio... The traveller was it a traveller's notebook folio, yeah, with a removal travel removable traveller's notebook that Melina did, me crafty scrapper. I then did my take on it, and Zoe has done a fabulous take on it, and she's added little charms. She's put Hessian under the little 
button string closures and it looks absolutely fabulous <clears throat> apparently I made a blush last time when I'm going on but she's just one of those crafters that you know when you look at a project and it's got all these little extra bits on you you think oh wish I'd have thought of that oh why didn't I do that well Zoe does do that she thinks of it and she puts it on and it looks amazing first time round yeah so yeah if you've got Instagram go over and have a look paper underscore eve creations I think it is uh, Instagram All right, put you on there use your wings and we just I definitely need more glue on there <clears throat> definitely so tell you what we'll not use the wings <laughs> just yet we'll stick this on I think I need to clear that out I've not uh, used this glue again for a couple of days uh, pin 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 I need an assistant I need a magic hand just to pass me things when I ask for it. Right. So let's get this on. Or oh, maybe I need to fill the bottle up. It's gurgling its way down. I'm just using my tacky glue. It'll not dry instantly, but it will dry really well. Gonna bob that there. And I'm gonna stick my butterfly on while that sticks, then I will stick my word on. I'm gonna have him that way, on that brown piece. Oh, I've just moved him. Yeah, that one a bit slidey that paper. I put more glue on it this time so it sticks properly. Stop faffing about with it and being frugal. Don't squeeze your glue bottle over your butterfly. You know that is a disaster waiting to happen. Yeah, because I'm sticking to this essay and I need quite a bit of glue on. Because it's going to want to soak into it, isn't it? Use your wings. Have we got that anywhere near straight? Oh yeah, it's quite good actually. Yeah, I can hear children creeping about. And I only think I think the only thing that needs now is some slightly darker inking around that edge. And I'm gonna put an eyelet in that one, an eyelet through that hole. I think it'll work. I don't think I've done that before on these, but <coughs> it should work. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, let's pick some more words for these two. So we've got use your wings. What else have we got? It's all perspective now, I don't like that. Let it go. No, don't sing. You have Disney after you. You don't need that. Do what you love, love what you do. I could use that and cut it in half and put one on each butterfly. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Do what you love and love what you do. So we'll snip you in half, mate. We'll get a little bit of ink on you. We'll put enough glue on you this time. In fact, do you know what? I think I'm happier putting the word on after the hessian is attached to the tag. I think that's the best way. And these will need quite a bit of glue as well. Not least because I've mauled them like a lion. Oh, if anyone's interested, I have created a playlist called Burning Down Becker's Minecraft. I, put, I best put Minecraft House because... If anyone comes across that playlist who hasn't seen the video where I talk about burning Becca's Minecraft house down and then tormenting her with songs about flames and burning, they'd probably think, oh, is this woman an arsonist? <laughs> She's crazy. Call the police. There's a mad woman about. So, yeah, it's called burning Becca's Minecraft house down. Poor Becca. She did love that house. Mind you, it's rebuilt now. You'd never know there'd been a huge blaze. I, I think the only casualties were a few pixels. Yeah. No actual real lives. Just a few pixels. Oh, I like that. These look so cute. 
really liking those. Right, let's glue the Hessian on, then we'll attach the word. Don't need loads on this, it's not going to soak in because it's got like a plasticky backing. Yeah, what did you say about not needing as much glue because it's got a plasticky backing? Then you put that much on, it starts squidging out. Let's move it up and hide that mistake. There we go. Oh, I discovered who said, who said that we don't make mistakes, we have happy accidents. It was Bob Ross. I never knew that. I was just reading something about, apparently there's a new controversial documentary on Netflix about Bob Ross, the painter. He painted happy trees and I loved him. I remember him from when I was little. There weren't much to watch on telly when you were a kid in the UK. I think we had three TV channels and they weren't on all day. So I used to watch, we used to watch Bob Ross, Paint Along With Nancy. Does anyone remember Paint Along With Nancy if you're in the UK? Wow. She used to do painting. Of course she didn't. It was called Paint Along With Nancy. Yeah, Paint Along With Nancy. She used to make, uh, yeah, matchstick models. <laughs> No, she did paint. Wow, that were. I'm sure that used to come on before or after the. Um, there used to be one. I think I'm thinking before I started full time school here as well. There used to be one TV program on around lunchtime for kids. Yeah. I don't even know what age we started school back then. Did I go mornings? I don't know. I'd love to know. Fortunately, there's no one I could ask who wouldn't have that information, I don't think. I like that. So, did I stick that one on? Yeah. Can't remember if I'd done it. Too busy talking about Bob Ross and his happy accidents. Yeah, happy accidents. So that's something that stuck with me all my life, but I didn't know where it came from. And now I do. It's Bob Ross's ethos philosophy but I always, I've always said that with my crafting I don't do it wrong you just do it different only you knows what it was supposed to look like really yeah if it's your own creation yeah no one knows you did it different all right let's get these little flutter buys on I've been waffling all right all the time now, haven't I? I've obviously I've not worked quick at all today, not at all. We've made no top notes. We've done no book plates. I've just faffed. Well, I've got six tags made. Six. That's not too bad. Right. We'll have you can go straight. We've got one going Katie cornered each way. You can be straight, you mate. Yeah, there you go. And I do, I want to put an eyelet in. So I'm going to have to grab my eyelet. I think these are crying out for gold, not silver. The colour scheme says gold. One, two, three. Where's my pliers? Oh. Wow, they're actually in the drawer where they're supposed to be. Stick down, Mr. Butterfly. Stop trying to fly off. Why do my butterflies always want to fly away? Is that the right size? Oh, it's a smidgen. It's a smidgen too small. Let's see if we can make that bigger. Ooh. Not three bad, just a smidgen wonky. And you can do it. There we go, I like that. That's one. We're going to have to make this hole a little bigger as well. The other one doesn't have a hole at all, so we can do our own hole from scratch. Happy butterflies, I'm sure they will be happy in Bob Ross's happy trees. I once did a Bob Ross style painting actually. Uh, I did it for Mum's birthday. Oh, I've not painted for years. 
it's full of, yeah, an artist would look at it and think, oh, that's terrible. But first glance, it looks really good. <laughs> um, my mum didn't have really good eyes. <laughs> And I've still got it now, you know, it's the trees and the snow. We're coming down to a little stream with rocks in and yeah, I'm quite proud of that painting. I think I'm in the mid-twenties when I did that. And my mum always had it on a living room wall. And now I've got it. Right. I've just yeah. Put a little circle where I want to punch that. And let's set this one. There we go. So we've got three now with eyelets. I do like eyelets. I think these are the same. Put some ribbon in, time it with string <clears throat> and I'm good to go. Uh, that's not the colour ribbon I want. Ooh, that looks good. I've not had this bag out for ages. It's got little bits of sari silk in. We've got some lovely autumnal type colours. These these butterflies are just flying off into autumn. I think that red's far too bright though. Yeah, don't go too far with bright colours. It's not Mardi Gras, is it? Not here it isn't. Oh, I love this rust colour. That's nice. Bit of rust, bit of gold. And I think we've got a nice green somewhere. That might be a bit dark. I don't know. I think that, actually, I think that looks pretty good with that. But maybe too dark. What's that one? That's too bitter. Hmm. Do rust, for starters. That's a long piece. That would make a journal closure. And I'm going to hack pieces off it. I was supposed to be going in my bit box, weren't I? And guess what? Completely forgot. I've got this out now. It'd be rude not to use it, wouldn't it? I think I'm just going to do the same colour on them all, you know. No variation. Just do the same colour. So I'm going to cut three pieces. There we go. To be honest, these are bits. That's why I was surprised that I've got one left that would be long enough for a journal closure. This is like the culmination of all the sari silk I've ever had. And these are bits that are left from it. Most of them came in happy meals, actually, and swaps. Right. I just think this colour will go so well with those butterflies. Thread it through. Oh yeah, pretty. I'm not going to put a charm on. They'll dangle so low they'll cover those butterflies up and then I won't like it. I think these tags have got enough going on on them, haven't they? They don't need it. It won't add anything to it. Through. I've got my fine twine. <laughs> I could do a fine wine. <laughs> I can tell you that much. Oh, I could do. I could. Could I drink in day tomorrow? And kids, I don't actually drink very often. I've not had a drink since Christmas, and what we're on now, September. <laughs> and here I am thinking about getting sloshed in the middle of the afternoon while watching telly while kids are at school. Could you imagine if school rang? If there was some emergency, and I'd been at home for an hour and a half, getting sozzled. That just wouldn't look good, would it? Just wouldn't, would it? So, I doubt that's going to happen. I think I'll uh, stick to my cup of tea. Thank you very much. Might treat myself to a chocolate biscuit. Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. I'll watch The Quiet Man, maybe. I might change my mind. You never know. There'll be so many films now. Uh, on streaming services we've got at minute that I've not seen because I've not got near big telly to choose anything for six weeks. I'll be spoilt for choice, I will. So let's tie these two off and I think I'm going to call it a day.
because <laughs> it took me all this time to make six tags, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed myself. I hope you've enjoyed watching and listening to the ramble. Right, snip you off and you. I can be terribly wasteful with this fine twine. Fine twine, just every time I say it, I want to fine wine. I could go to shop now, get a bottle of wine, and get sozzled before they go back to school. <laughs> They'd overlay then. Yeah, I'd get a call from school, Mrs. Walker, and I'd be answering the phone with a hangover. Not good. I just, can you see why I don't drink? <laughs> Which is I might need to at times. Right, there we have it. Let's scoop all the rubbish away. So we've got six little tags. That's not bad for an hour's work, is it? I really like those. They're different but similar. And they've used up some things from my scrap box. So, yeah, give it a whirl. Yeah. If you're thinking of buying one of those die quitting machines, I'm loving my little Gemini one. It's a little bit bigger than one I had before, so I'm still really giddy about it. Yeah, you can find, that is linked in my Amazon storefront. So if you are thinking of buying one, I'd appreciate if you did it through that. And then I'd get a small amount of commission. Every little helps, yeah. So I'll be able to buy some wine. <laughs> Stop it now with wine. So anyway, yeah, that's today's make. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's not really been a tutorial, has it? Just a little bit of a craft along and a waffle. So yeah. I will be back. I will be back on. What is it? Day is it? Is it Wednesday? <laughs> I don't even know what day it is. Am I going to send kids to school on the right day? Who knows? Watch this space. Yeah, uh, I have been doing videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then Saturday and or Sunday. So sticking to about four a week. I hope you're all enjoying it like that because it is fitting in with my life a little bit better and I think I've been coming up with some better videos not striving to try and do one every day uh, yeah I think I might have ended up burning out continuing to do one every day so I'm going to stick with this for the foreseeable future and yeah so on that note I shall be back on Friday so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time bye